Yami from eLearning Channel, New Zealand. How are you doing? It has been a while since we had last lesson, right? Did you practice a lot? Or you didn't do it at all? I know, after a long break, it's really hard to come back to the routines. Since new year has started, let's start our lesson again. Now, today we're going to learn My Heart Will Go On from Movie Titanic. With this song, we're going to learn three new things. First, reading B-A-G, below the middle C, on the treble clap. And the second, we're going to learn new symbols of the chord. S-U-S, sus chord, and minor chord. And the last, we're going to learn new chord patterns. Let's start the lesson. Let's start with the melody line. It starts with a C, but it has to be finger number three. Why? Because we have to go down. We're going to use C below B, A, even go to G on this song. So let's just start right hand only first. One, two, three, go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Step ball and another step ball. This is G, so remember that. Now, the rhythm is kind of tricky at the beginning. C, two. So whenever you see dotted quarter followed by the eighth note is one, two. You have to play it after two, not on two, but after. So one, two, one, two, one, two. Remember the rhythm, then it's okay. And the next line is repeating the same thing again. So up to here, now let's try it. Left hand, how it goes. Left hand definitely is on C. So start with the C chord, which is a C, and skip, and skip, to count. What about the second measure? If you see it, C, but do you see S-U-S for? That's what new lesson for today. We call sus chord. Sus chord is from the C from point of four. One, two, three, four. So actually it's a C chord, but instead of E, you are playing F, fourth note. One, two, three, four, and G. That's what the sus for. So the easiest way that you can find is if it's a C sus, C, F, G. But if it is G sus, from G chord, sus. So instead of middle note, you play a fourth one. That's what the sus chord. It's very simple, right? Yeah, so that's next to second measure is C, F, G. And what about F slash C? Do you see it? What kind of chord it is? F chord, but start with a C. So the C move down to here. So that's how we play it on the third measure. That's what it means. And then the fourth measure, C. So you play a C chord. It's a C, E, G, but we move it out the E and C, G. And what about the next chord, G, B? Means G chord must start with B. So B, G. Do you see it? So second chord, read it, and then the first one. That's the easy, right? What about A, M? A stands for A chord. 
and the small letter M stands for minor. So it actually means minor chord, A minor chord, which we haven't learned yet. But that's okay, don't worry about it. You just need to know if it's a letter, that means major chord. And if it's minor chord, then put small letters right after the letter. So A, M, or D, M, or E, M means A minor chord, D minor chord, E minor chord, something like that. But we're going to learn the difference between major and minor later. So don't worry about it now. Now, moving into the second line, C slash G means C chord. But starts with a G first. And then, what is the next note? E, which is the second note of the C chord. So it's G, E. And what about the next note? F, F, C. So which is a G and D it just literally plays the major chord. And then it comes back again the same thing. So we just repeat from C to G up to here. Now we're gonna play it both in together from beginning to up to here. Let's see. Left hand starts with the C chord and right hand is on C2 but with finger number three. Ready? One, two, three, go. I wrote the finger number. This is one of the hardest part because of the fingering. If you remember the right fingers, then it should be okay. All right. Now, the next part is exactly the same as this one. Let's go. C again. Two, three, four. Step up. One, two, three. G. And then again, the same note. G to G. Two, step down. Step up, up, step down, two. Here is the same. Check the fingerings. Step down, down, after. 
letter C, cross it over the B. Step four, two, B, B, C. This is a little bit different from the previous one, but similar notes. And step four. Now, this is another hard part, playing two notes at the same time on the right hand. So C and E. One, two. And then the next note is step down, B and D. So how are we going to play it? Keep holding it three and five and go like this. Don't leave it out like this. Then you will break the melody line. So remember holding it. Do you see my finger? Play it and leave. And then after that, the next note is a middle C again. So just middle C here. One, two. One, two, another two count. Why? Because it's tied. Right? Do you see? And then next C again, but with finger number one. One, two. And the very last. Oh, many notes are together. How are we going to play it? Means chord. So you have to play this three note at the same time. What is it? C, D, E. So you just play it. One, two, three, C, D, E. Do you see very ending like this waving? Means you from bottom to top, one at a time. Play it slowly from bottom to top, one note at a time. Like waving it. That's it. Now let's see left hand. Part a minor, which is third line, the very last measure. Left hand A minor, A, and what is the next note? E, and another next A again. So this is a new pattern that I'm going to introduce you today. One five one pattern. Now, one means the key note. If it's a C chord, C is one, two, three, four, five. G is five, and then one. It doesn't go back to this one, but next to D, which is one, the same note. So one, five, one. Yeah, so if it's a C chord, we play it instead of like this, one, five, one. What about D? One, five, one. What about E? Then yes, E is one, two, three, four, five. One, five, and then the same note, you play it again. That's why one five one technique. So lots of times we're gonna use one five one, which is pretty simple, but sounds pretty. Now if we go back to left hand chords, A minor, but here as one five one technique. So one five one, yes. And what about the next one? Is G chord, but start with the B. So B. Next note is a G, B. This is kind of hard to recognize right away. What about next one? F. So F, C, F, which is 1, 5, 1 again, right? Now what about next G? 1, 5, 1 pattern. So G, B, G. So it just repeats back again the same thing. Only the difference is very last measure which is G, G, and G, F, and go back to C, and this is 1, 5, 1. Do you see 1, 5, 1 after that? You have to cross it over to next step up, because why? We don't have finger. So step up to finger number 3, 2, and then skip up to G like this. So this is the only different part. And then right and receive it. play both hands together in a slow tempo. Fine hand position, C on the right hand, left hand start with the C chord. One, two, three, play. Thank you. 
and then the same thing one more time. piano for long so it's gonna take a couple of days to come back but it will be okay I think this is easier than the previous song so let's see how it goes and let me know if you have still trouble playing it I hope you enjoyed this song and we'll see you next week bye <laughs>